question that was in everybody's mind is how do you make a home theater in your house? And my son Brian just purchased this house uh, in January and uh, he wants to build a home theater in the house. So his options were uh, using the master bedroom, but he decided not to do that. The living area has a cathedral ceiling, so he chose not to do that. So he's gonna take uh, the space between these two bedrooms, dunk out the wall, and uh, start building his home theater. So we'll watch his adventures and see how you do this. Okay, by the time I got there, Brian had already taken out the wallboard. That was kind of the fun job. You take your sledgehammer and you pound away and uh, get down to the framing. Next, uh, the framing was a uh, part that he wanted to make sure I'd be there to help him. So Stephanie was there with her two daughters and supervising. First, he cut the wires. And yes, we did turn off the electricity before we cut the wires. Then it was the process, start taking uh, all the support uh, beams off and uh, then he would toss them out the window to his existing trash he already had out there. It's starting to pile up uh, a whole wall's worth of stuff right there. His friend Ty came over and was giving him a hand and uh, as they get closer to the wall it wasn't as easy to tear away as it was before. Stephanie uh, helping out showing her muscles and Brian continually taking all the the beams uh, out. It was a little tricky around the vent because there was a big metal bracket there which made it hard uh, to get these beams off so I had to step in there and, and give them a little muscle. But you can see for the most part he was doing it himself. Then the cabinets they uh, were right there. They were a little tight in there but once we got the screws loose uh, we were able to get it off and take it out of the room and into the garage. Then we left a nice big spot there for texturing and uh, a lot of work for Sherry to do to get that to look good. And of course, uh, Kaylin got in there with the sledgehammer along with Cosette to help out with the uh, destruction. Again, kept working on that metal blade of course, uh, Ty brought his with separate saw with him, and that made a big difference of uh, getting those corner pieces out. And finally, uh, it was starting to take shape or unshape, getting all the parts uh, taken out. And the room looked pretty empty. Here's what the uh, look like with the boards out. And then I put uh, wall boarding in that place to fill it, and then Sherry was the mudder and that's a big job that she uh, blended that in to make it all look like one wall and not a not a hole in the wall and the wall and the ceiling and then the closet area brian decided to uh, take that out too so we had work to do there here's the corner we worked on then uh, okay we're set to go in the room now after all that work was done and my job was now to uh, go in there and uh, do the texturing. So I had taped up the walls with uh, the plastic all around to uh, get the room prepared for the texturing because I was going to do the ceiling first and I have a spray gun and compressor that I use uh, for doing that. So that was the big job was uh, covering that all up and getting ready to do uh, the ceiling texture. So I'm here ready to go and um, next thing is to uh, go and mix this stuff. So you can see uh, there's a lot of taping and everything to do. Like I say, it's very time consuming and it takes up uh, most of the time just preparing. When you actually start spraying, it, it only takes about 10, 15 minutes, but the preparation takes a couple hours to do. So in my preparation, I need... Comes in very handy. And this is the uh, gun I use to spray. I have a container that I'll stick on the top of it and then we'll spray the wall with it. So uh, be doing that shortly. I just mixed my compound using this wall texture material. Uh, mixed a, a few buckets um, with it. You, know, you want to make a nice consistency with it. 
So then I'm going to pour it in this container, stick this on top of the um, sprayer, and uh, go for it. So I'm just waiting for, uh, th I have to wait 15 minutes after I mix it, and then remix it after that before I can start using it. Well, after uh, spraying the ceiling with, this, with the texture, now I'm going to let it dry for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take my knockdown blade and go along and uh, smooth out what they call knocking down the, and making it flat and gives it that knockdown look, what they call it. So, Okay, now uh, Brian has finished his texturing and he's getting to do the painting. Mm -hmm. So he's. Doesn't it have a green color look to it? It's primer. But I know, but doesn't it it's have. It's primer, that he's going to be start putting up that, and we're going to start seeing well, some action. Uh, oh, the gray colors. Okay, Brian's finally getting to do the fun part that he's been waiting to do paint. He's using a special army olive drag color for his primer. with his special assistant over in the corner here. Okay, um, Brian has now finished his painting in the room, and um, he's also bought himself a uh, projector, which he, he's going to mount on the ceiling, and he's got a temporary screen right now, which is uh, just a sheet uh, hanging on the wall. So you can see that, you know, it's a you know, pretty good size here. and. Uh, so the room is really looking pretty good. Uh, the painting's done, he's got his projector, he's got a temporary screen, and so now he has to mount it, the projector on the ceiling, and uh, he'll be uh, just about ready to have entertainment in here. Brian wanted to make some risers so he could have a back row seating where there would be no obstacles for the people that were sitting in front. So he had Stephanie and Nate come over. They put this framing together. Then Brian, uh, as he went to Home Depot and got the plywood to put on top, he had them make a couple of cuts. Then there's one section there that he had to do the cutting himself. So he was making sure he had the measurements just right, uh, trying to really be precise. He brought Caitlin and Cosette over to help him out, make sure he got the measurements just right. Then I helped out by standing on the board to make sure that it didn't move while he was cutting it. Put a little guide there so the skill saw just zipped right along and also used his uh, miter saw for a final cut. So then he only had to put that one piece in there. So he did that, screwed it in. Now he has his platform. He put the furniture up on there and uh, popped in a video. Tried out the seating to see if there's any obstacles or wasn't and then all of us got together sat down we had the front row we had the back row very comfortable and decided to watch a laker playoff game of a couple years ago and that is how you build a home theater